Hello, hello. So, here is the situation today. I watch a lot of Flat Earth content to generate content for my channel. It's a cross I have to bear, but what are you going to do? If I didn't, you guys would have nothing to watch and laugh at with me. Now, quite often, when I watch these Flat Earth videos, you can see that the people, they believe what they're saying, and it's said with conviction. And in some cases, to a particular group of people, it could come across as fairly convincing. And then I stumbled across this channel, where that isn't so much the case. So, let's get going and see what this guy's got to say. Hello people, how y'all doing? The moon, with the numbers that they provide for you, totally, completely destroy the heliocentric model of the universe. So today, we are looking at the totally tubular in REM and his take on the moon. This should be good. Do you need some time? Let's start at the beginning with some numbers. Oh, no, don't worry. Here we go. First of all, I tell you that the Earth is tilted at 23.4 degrees. You take 23.4 degrees off 90 degree vertical and you end up with 66.6. .6. They tell you that while the Earth is tilted on its axis, that it rotates on this axis at 1,040 miles an hour at the 24,901 circumference equator. Right, hang on a second. Imran. Now, I'm no Steven Spielberg, but you do realize you can edit out these gigantic pauses, don't you? They tell you, at the same time, the moon is on the average of 235,000 miles away from the Earth, with an orbital speed, and an elliptical orbital speed of... 2,288 miles an hour. No, they don't. Who, who is they? Imran? Hello? Hello, who is they? The moon is actually 238,900 miles away. And obviously, before you try to correct me, Imran, Rem, Yeah, there is a variation, and that's because the moon's orbit is elliptical, not a perfect circle. There's two more 666 speeds. They tell you the Earth orbits the sun at 66,600 miles an hour. 67,000 miles an hour, I think you see. But then if you told the truth, that wouldn't have the link to... The devil. 666. And they tell you the sun orbits the galactic center of the Milky Way at 666,000 miles an hour. And they tell you the Milky Way shoots through the infinite all at over 1.2 million miles an hour. But what they don't tell you is how to edit out huge pauses from your videos now let's get to the moon i've observed the moon and i've filmed the moon hundreds and hundreds of hours same with the sun i've got video 
of the moon coming into view. A moonrise, a complete moonrise, where there's no moon at all, and then you see it coming into view. And then I've got it completely throughout the day and leaving view from its grand entrance to its great escape and it don't go overhead and around it comes at ya and leaves but if the moon had an orbital speed around the earth at 2,288 miles an hour that they are proclaiming and the earth is rotating on its axis at 1,040 miles an hour at the equator. Number two. Oh my god, is he still talking? Bunny. The moon is actually always in the sky, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and it's never left the sky since it was created, but that's probably not what you're asking. Similarly to the sun, every day the moon would be observed rising in the east and setting in the west if it wasn't for the sunlight, which is so bright that it overwhelms the view of the moon. Now, in reality, the sun doesn't rise or set either, it's always in the sky. It's basically because the Earth is rotating on its own axis, completing one orbit in roughly 24 hours. The la that's not true for the Moon, though. The Moon has got its own orbit around its own axis as well as an additional orbit around the Earth. And since the Moon's orbits are counterclockwise like the Earth's orbit, it follows that when the horizon drops under the Sun, sunrise, on one day, and on that day the moon is on the same side of the earth as the sun, then moonrise will be at the same time as sunrise, since that would also be the time the horizon drops under the moon. However, by the time the earth has revolved once, i.e. the next day, the moon has already moved on its own orbit around the earth and is not anymore on the same side as the sun. Rather, it's roughly 13.2 degrees further to the west. Hence, on the next day, when the horizon drops below the sun, sunrise, it won't yet drop below the moon. And this will happen roughly 53 minutes later. So, if we don't take weather conditions that could disturb the view into consideration, you can see the moon shortly on one night, then every following night, you can see it for 53 minutes longer than the night before, for 14 days until you see the moon for the entire time. From that day, for another 14 days, the length of its appearance will decrease till the night it disappears, and that cycle repeats itself on average every 29 and a half days. Yeah, science. Yeah, you can go to time and day, and you can observe the reality that they're showing you because they don't want to lie on time and date because they want you to be able to study this shit and you can find times when the moon is in the sky for over 14 hours well yeah i just said exactly that the time increases up to the 14th day then decreases i'm not i'm not going through all that again i was starting to think my hat was too tight but uh I think it was all that science talk that gave me a headache. And you can find the time when the moon is in the sky for only 10 hours. Now if all these speeds were constant, regardless of the tilt, regardless of the elliptical, it's so far away, it would be in the sky the same amount of time. The moon is actually always in the sky, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and it's never left the sky since it was created, but that's probably not what you're asking. <laughs> you didn't really think I was going to say all that again, did you? You're a bunch of idiots to continue at this point in time to believe a goddamn thing that you learned in the school system. I mean, you got your basic math and they taught you how to talk. 
You didn't go to school then, Imran, did you? <laughs> and while we're on the subject of school and education, Imran, how much time did you waste dreaming that the Earth was flat? Hundreds and hundreds of hours. There we go, I rest my case. There's absolutely no proof of a dinosaur. Have you ever found a dinosaur bone? Dinosaur bone? What the hell has that got to do with the Earth being flat? Have you ever seen a flat Earth? No. But you still think it's flat? Let's get back to the solar system to steal your solar system. To keep you locked here in this realm so they can continue to siphon your power, your energy, your life force. You pay 80% in your taxes, whether you know it or not. 80% in my taxes? I think I would know if I... Wait, hang on a second. Why are we talking in funny voices now? 80% tax. <laughs> yeah, of course you do. Um, what do you do for a living? <laughs> Just so I can make sure I never choose to do that. Because if you have got to pay 80% tax, damn. You people don't get it. They're stealing your solar system, your soul by this solar system. You're not a system. You, mortals are here to cycle. But right, yeah. this is just getting really weird. So before it gets any weirder, I've been the Creaky Blinder. Thanks for joining me, and I will see you all on Sunday for Creaky Blinder Live. Take care, guys. Bye.